Hi, this is Noah Vodder. I run the website DIYDSP.com. The entire point of the website is to teach people how to make DSP-based musical instruments. Today, I'm going to show you an exciting new prototype of a piece of software by an acquaintance of mine uh, named Gary Warsham, who runs Holy City Audio. His website is joefriday-lg.com. What Gary has made is a piece of software called SpinCAD Designer. SpinCAD Designer uh, breathes new life into a DSP that many of us have already heard about called the FV1, made by Spin Semiconductor. The FV1 is a great little DSP. Uh, you can program reverb effects in it. You can program uh, filter effects and distortion, put them into guitar pedals and other instruments. The only problem with the FV1 is that it largely has to be programmed in assembly. Well, Gary Warsham has changed all that by building on some previous work um, by Andrew uh, Fitzpatrick, I believe, who did a project called ElmGen. Gary Warsham has made a graphical user interface called SpinCAD for the FV1, so you no longer have to program in assembly. Come on and take a look. SpinCAD Designer starts off with a blank slate and then what you want to do is add some processing elements to it. If you've ever used Max MSP or you've used Pure Data then you'll be pretty familiar with these. So the first thing I added is the input block. Notice how it's got two little circles. If you look down at the bottom it shows you those are audio um, 1 and audio 2. And then I'm going to add the output so this is the, uh, the output terminals on your FV1. Now for the fun part, we put something in between. So using this program, you have to have a little patience. If you're used to modern software and the Apple aesthetic of everything working beautifully and easily, you just have to slow down a little bit and appreciate that this is an excellent prototype. And you're gonna have to get to know a few things in order to use it. First of all, to move modules around, you click the mouse in the little square and then you drag them around. When you got it where you want it, you click the mouse again to drop it. Now that we've got an input and an output, let's put some distortions in between there. So underneath Wave Shaper, you've got distortion. And I found that one distortion isn't quite enough for me, so I like to put three in series. Now to draw lines between them, one of the quirks is you connect on the input of one module and then you go backwards to the previous one. A lot of other programs, you go, you start with the out and go to the in, but this program's just a little bit different. You'll totally be able to handle it. And to make the connection, you click inside there, just like that. Now notice I used one uh, input because I'm gonna have a guitar plugged into this and the output, we've got two of them. So that's our basic patch there. If you, there's a simulator, which I haven't figured out how to use, but I'm sure is going to be extremely valuable. For now, I'm going to upload the actual thing. So I'm going to choose Save as Spin Assembly. And then I use the file requester box to find my directory. And I'm just going to call this 3D for 3 distortion. Now that I've saved it, when I pull up a file explorer and I look in that directory, I've got this file here, 3D Distortion. You can see it's a spin file. I've already got the FV1 development system here installed. So I can double click on it and it opens up the familiar spin assembly IDE. And here it shows you the assembly that we would have had to write by hand until SpinCAD came out. So we're very thankful for this. Our next step is, familiar to everybody who's already programmed in FV1, you press A to assemble. A little window appears, it does a very quick assembly, and then the EEPROM write. And then if you haven't seen the FV1 development board, this is it. That's my USB connection. Now we're going to try it out. go, 
Uh, that's a, a nice meaty distortion we've made completely from the graphical user interface. Uh, let's try one more thing. I've got another program I worked on the other day. So we'll go to open. This is a, a three-way wave shaper I programmed. I, I configured with the interface. Notice how this one has these purple blocks. These are for the pots, the, uh, the control knobs on the instrument. So I'll save this one as spin assembly. Atlanta's products. Oops. Dump stop. Testing. And I'll just call this uh, triple threat because it's got three different wave shapers in there. I've got an overdrive, a distortion, and an octavizer. So if you want, you can um, use file open and go and get the assembly file, but I find it kind of easier just to close it and then click on the icon and have it open here. So there's all the assembly that we saved ourselves the time of writing and we'll just click the A to upload it. And now we'll try it out. So this program uses the three knobs on it. So if I begin by turning them down, of course we won't hear anything, except the acoustic bass. Now I'll turn up the first one, and that should be the overdrive. Uh, except it's not, who knows why. Let's look at the second one. Maybe it's just kind of quiet. Let me turn up the amp here. Ah yeah, okay, it's just a little quiet. So here's my overdrive. Uh, let's hear the Octavizer. It's been surprisingly similar. Um, anyway, uh, not all of the filter modules in there are developed yet, I believe. As I, as I said, this is a very new piece of software. Gary is writing this very actively. So uh, I think it's going to be a boon and it's going to breathe a lot of fresh life into the world of the FV1 and making DSP music instruments. So be sure to support Gary, uh, send some donations his way, download the software, try it. It runs on Java. Uh, I've only done it under Windows, but it should work under Linux and uh, OS X as well. And he intends to keep supporting it. Um, so enjoy SpinCAD Designer. Thank you very much.